Good morning, makers. It's Wednesday, and today we're doing MakerCraft Live, where we're going to teach you how to make your own infinity cube. Uh, this was actually a scheduled event that we were supposed to have here at the Creation Station. Um, so unfortunately, we're not going to have it here at the station, but we'll do it on Facebook Live today. Uh, so some supplies that you're going to need is you're going to need some cubes. Uh, for today, we're using um, three quarters of an inch cubes. Uh, we just cut these up here at our makerspace, but you can use anything that you have available as long as it is a cube shape. It's very important that you make sure it is a cube. Uh, you're also going to need some duct tape. So today I have my Olaf duct tape that we're going to use. Uh, you're also going to need a pair of scissors. And then there is another option. Uh, we're actually going to be transforming our infinity cubes into story cubes. So on our blog, we will be posting uh, an attachment to download this template where you can draw or design some pictures and you can tell a story with your infinity cubes. So we will be going through that today. Um, so now that we have all our supplies listed, what you're going to need is you're going to need to make sure that you have um, your eight cubes lined up as such. So you're going to have two rows of four. And you want to make sure that they're touching each other as close as you can. Now, once you do that, you're going to make, uh, need four pieces of duct tape for this first part. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of duct tape and then you're going to tape the upper top left corner and these two cubes together and you're going to take another piece of tape and you're going to go over here and tape these two pieces together and then you're going to take another piece of tape and go to the bottom left and tape those pieces together and then finally you're going to have the last piece right here and you're going to tape these together all right so once you have that all set you're going to turn these on their side, just like so. And you're going to take a piece of tape here. And you're going to tape the middle pieces together. And then you're going to flip it over to the other side. And you're going to find a piece of tape. I'm going to tape the middle pieces together here as well. So once you have those all taped, you're gonna flip it over to the reverse side over here on the back. And we're gonna tape these two pieces together. And I'm gonna tape this. And you wanna make sure that you press your tape down firmly because you wanna make sure that the glue on the tape adheres really well with the wood. Um, it does tend to pop off the first few times, but after a while that um, tape will start melting into the glue and stick to it. All right. So once we have that, we're gonna go back to the front here and we're going to flip open our cube as such. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're just going to put tape right on the opposite side of where we taped before. So we're gonna take a piece of tape here tape here. All right. So once we have that, we're going to flip our cube over now to this way. And we're just going to, anytime we see the back side of tape, we're going to put another piece of tape to cover that because we're reinforcing that area. To flip it over here and we have pieces of tape here 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 and here and as you're doing this you want to make sure that you press your cubes together you don't want to have a lot of open spaces because then your um, infinity cube can come undone and that's not fun Right. 
So I'm just going to check all my pieces to make sure that they're all connected together. Make sure I haven't missed any pieces and it looks like we're pretty good. So as you can see, once it's all taped together, you'll be getting this infinity cube fidget spinner. Or not spinner, but fidget toy. But this is really fun, easy to do. And then once you're all done, um, like I said, we have the template where you can add pictures to your infinity cube. And a fun thing to do is if you have um, like a storybook or a novel at home, you can illustrate the story on those um, cube pieces. And then you can tell the story by flipping through your infinity cube. So I already have some stuff made uh, with some stamps that I just got and I colored them. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take off the double-sided tape that I put on here. Um, now when you're putting these on, you can use glue or you can use double-sided tape um, with liquid glue, like white glue, Elmer's glue. You wanna be very careful because that can melt your, um, your paper if you put too much on there. So you wanna put a thin amount on there. Um, if you use a glue stick, um, you just want to be very careful of it drying out. When it does, the paper tends to fall off pretty easy. So you want to be very careful. All right. So what you do is you just cut up those grids and then you can stick them on your cube like so. So I just had a bunch of these cute little cactus stamps, or cacti, um, and then some plushy animals with uh, spring weather. So there's sunshine, there's rain, um, and I just took some uh, alcohol-based markers to color them in. Now I'm going to move on to my next picture. And you can do anything you want. You can illustrate like Harry Potter, or if you want to do the very hungry caterpillar, you can do that. There's a lot of different options you can do. Or if you just want to illustrate your day, you can tell the story of what you did today. That's another option you can look into. So later today, there will be a post on the directions for what we made today. Um, we'll show you some pictures on there as well. Um, and we'll also post the template that you can download and print. Now, if you don't have cubes that are three-fourths of an inch like this, if you have larger ones, you can make your own. You just need to remember um, the pattern in which the cube is at. So you have a two by four horizontal rectangle for the first two positions, and then you have um, a two by two square for the next one. And you're gonna do that twice. You're gonna have two by four, vertical two by two um, square then you're going to have two by two hors or vertical horizontal first then vertical um, so just keep that in mind as you're making your little story blocks So now we're on to the first square. So I'm going to take our little cactus here. Actually, I'm going to take the tape backs off first. Makes it a little bit easier.
All right, I'm just gonna flip this one over to this side and we're gonna do the other cactus. I like this one because it looks like he has little Mickey Mouse ears on there. It's really cute. All right, so now that we got our two squares done, this one's going to be a vertical picture. So I'm going to take my little bunny here. I'm going to take this off on this side. So using this little template also kind of helps keep your duct tape in place because you're covering it and you're adding a little bit more adhesion on there to, to make sure that it doesn't come undone. All right, one more vertical. Almost there, we got our last two squares coming up. All right. So I got two squares here. I'm gonna go ahead and use our little flower one. Flower cactus is cute. Now you can also, if you don't want to use the template, but you want to add a little color to your um, your infinity cube, you can color your blocks. You want to make sure though that if you do that, if you paint them, you want to have them dry a full 24 hours to make sure that the wood is not too damp. Um, if it's too damp, the duct tape will not stick to it and it'll come apart. So you want to make sure that the wood is fully dry after painting it before you um, put the duct tape on there to assemble your infinity cube. But um, like I said, we'll have the template up on our blog spot blog. Um, so hopefully you guys are checking that out and seeing our post. All right, and our last one.
So we have all of our grids on there. And there we are. We're going to start from the beginning. like I did a little bit backwards here, but you can fix them. So some of them might not be in the correct order, but if you want to, you can go through and fix them to make sure that they are. Ah, there it goes. So some of them kind of get a little bit mixed up, but it's okay. It'll fix itself. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, Make sure you leave them in the comments below, uh, and we'll have another MakerCraft Live this Friday, and we hope you guys are staying safe, and we will see you later.